Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Tale of Immortal. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You get my videos as they come out. And what more would you want out of your day? Now, hopefully we can get past this wall. That would be ideal. That would be an ideal outcome. And by wall, I mean the one further down that's, like, destroyed. This one. The... What I can only assume was the Human Alliance's previous territory, but then they lost it, and, you know, yada, 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 classic. Now, what we're going to do is we're going straight to Guiwano. I'm going to be trying to push this story, like, as much as humanly possible. As soon as you came back, Guiwano runs in front of you anxiously, crying. Did they up the ante on their art, or is that just me? <laughs> YouTube, BBG, you come back? Yeah, I have. What happened? The Alliance leader came to find Aunt, and the two of them were fine, but I didn't know what they were talking about, and then suddenly they started fighting. What do you mean they started fighting? Why? It's because you're the daughter of the monster. That's my guess. After the two fought, my aunt's cultivation wasn't as good as the leader of the Alliance, and not long ago she retreated to the distant mountains and forests. I... I don't know what to do. I can only hide and wait for you to come back. BBG, can you go and save my aunt? Fuck me, it's just one thing after the other, isn't it? I'm out here just trying to live my life, just trying to get transcendent, and these stupid mortal concerns. Alright, don't worry about it, I'm on it. Bro, what am I doing? I have a wife. Stop this. Stop this simpery. You step forward and gently wipe away the tears from the corners of, uh, corners of Guyana's eyes. Her sobbing subsided and she gradually stopped crying, staring at you with tearful eyes. Thank you, she says. Alright, let's go. Take me there. Take me away. Now, I'm pretty, pretty sure that... You know what? I'm going to harvest it. Yeah, of course a monkey leaps at me. Why not? Watch me die to a monkey. Fucking wouldn't surprise me. Oh, nah. It almost made it to me. I can't even use it. Uh, it's really just fucking annoying. I need to check the sex as well. It's been like three years and the sex haven't um, replenished their spiritual fruits that I bought with spirit stones. So I don't know if they're destitute or my sect is just really fucking rich. It's hard to tell. When you arrive at this mountain forest, you see the aunt being knocked to the ground by the alliance leader. Just as he stabbed her, you threw him back. Guyana hurried to her aunt's side and helped her up. Aunt BBG and I are here to help you. Save, save you. Don't be afraid. You, why are you here? Hurry up, the Alliance leader has been eroded by the dark energy and he's no longer the leader of our immortal alliance. <laughs> Alright, I'll step in. Don't worry. I got this. None of you three ants can survive. Well, that's rude. I'm not an ant. I'm at least a... a I don't know. Praying mantis. Maybe. Xiang Ling Jun, Alliance leader. Was Yuan Er's father caught by you back then? It seems that the heavenly eye array had fallen into your hands, yes. Gunang Gang is too pedantic for the future of the Immortal Alliance. I could only have killed him. As soon as the Alliance leader voice falls, Gu Yuan Er freezes in place. But didn't Daddy die in the hands of the Zhou Ying? Obviously not. In the Battle of the Nine Infants, Sing Yunang Gang did not die, and they even discovered the Nine Infants' children. If Nang is not dead, then why? What happened to the Zhou Ying cubs? Seeing Yunnan wanted to kill the cubs immediately, but the Alliance leader wanted to raise them so he could control the beast tide, and he took advantage of Nang Gang's inattentiveness and killed him. From behind at that, what a bitch. What a puss, you puss. If you can control Zhou Ying, doesn't it mean that you can control the beast tide? Then immortal cultivators will control this place, and that's something no one's ever done. Why would Gu Nang have stopped me? <laughs> there it is. That's the art I'm looking for. As the truth emerges, Luo Ying, who was sitting on the ground to heal her wounds, was suddenly furious and couldn't stop spitting a mouthful of blood. 
It's ridiculous. For so many years, the enemy who killed my brother has been by my side. Not only didn't I avenge him, but I actually managed to do many things for you instead. You, you actually killed my father. I must avenge him. Before you could react, she pulled out her sword and attacked him. But she was repelled in one blow and fell to the ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's one of the... It's, it's one of the classic lines. The light of a firefly dares to compete against the sun. My god. Yes. <laughs> this old man is a dignified transcendent. How can you defeat me? BBG, don't let this person live. His realm has long been damaged when he went to the Taigu Xian men back then and returned after his battle with Xing Tian. His old wounds have never been healed properly. You old woman, you're really noisy. This old man will kill you first. Oh shit. Hey wait, I could do that too, except mine shoot like machine guns. The Alliance leader jumped into the air and clenched his hands to form a huge magic circle. And a vast array of swords appeared and stabbed towards the Wu Ying. Alright, let's fight. My man, you were not ready for this. You 10,000 year old monster. You're going to get clapped by someone under 100. I'm embarrassed for you. 92,000 health. And I'm going to go all out like immediately. Let's go. Bro, you literally... I could just stand here. I don't need to move. That's a cool sword array you've got. Look at mine. <laughs> no hands. No hands. You trash. Transcend in my ass. In this battle, the mountains and rivers turned a different colour, and the top of the mountain you were on was smashed by you. In the end, after a long battle, you defeated Xiang Lingjun. Well, it wasn't really long, but yeah, I get it, I get it. We carved out the place. I actually lost. Little friend, many things are still a mystery from back, from back then. Can you hand this person over to this old lady and let me find out one by one? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. Just take his arms, take his legs, maybe his eyes. He doesn't need them. The Alliance leader sat on the ground in a slump state. After the battle just now, he's lost his spiritual energy and was no different from an ordinary person. Ruo Ying walked up to him and looked down at him indifferently. Senior brother Xiang, when you, I and Nang Yang formed a friendship on the top of this mountain and then fought against monsters and protected the people together, that experience is the most precious memory of my life. That was so many years ago. Kill me if you want. Why be so pretentious? You really have changed. You're no longer the big brother I respected back then. Ha, <laughs> junior sister, everybody can change. As soon as he finished speaking, he suddenly stood up and held her in his hands. You found that at that, at that moment, he was exuding dark energy all over his body. Oh, he's eager he's he to blow up. You actually practice the dark energy. You know that if, if you continue like this, you'll become a monster. I didn't want to go this far, but it was you who forced me. Oh, please. Every single time, every single time, no matter what the person does, it's always a you force me. It's not I made a decision, got clapped, and then was, you know, instead of admitting defeat and losing face, turned into a fucking monster. Come on. Come on. Do you think this is a joke? If you have the ability, you can try and see if I die first or if she dies first. Oh my god, look at that. What's happening? After speaking, he grabbed her harder and flew up into the air. Suddenly, a burst of fire came out from the sky, hitting him, and he was forced to let go of Luo Ying. And he instantly turned into a fireball and in a short while completely burnt into ash. I saw the nine infant monster breaking through the sky and turning into a human figure. It is the Duan Mu Ying Lan you've seen before. Ah, oh, the chick. Yep. 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 Nang Gang, I finally killed this person for you. Zhou Ying, you dare to come to this mortal alliance alone. Do you think that there's no one here? <laughs> Isn't it just you? Excuse me. I am here too, damn it. The Zhou Ying ignored her and came to Xiang Lingjun's body, took something and then glanced at you coldly, waiting in the distance. She seems to have the intention of letting you keep up with her. Don't go. That nine infant monster is powerful. It's too dangerous for you to go alone. I'm going to be honest with you. 
not a lot of things in this entire realm could touch me anymore. So, there's that. If she'd wanted to kill us, she already would have. Why would she have waited till now? I'll go and see what she wants. You take the scene, you're back and heal your wounds. Hello. Okay, that's a dark hole. You followed Duan Lu and came to a secret cave outside the secret realm, only to see the Drill Ying activate something in her hand, and a secret realm a secret realm opened wide and you followed her in. The secret realm turned out to be a prison cell. The same one you saw in the scene when you were looking at the heavenly eye array. Somehow it's exactly the same. You walked in with Duan Mu and saw a young man lying on the ground. Although his face was lifelike, all his vitality was gone. Duan Mu, who had no emotions at first, saw the corpse in front of her and immediately knelt beside him, stroking the young man's face lightly and sobbing silently. After a long time, she finally spoke. You must have seen it from the heavenly eye array. That vision was especially reserved for you. I could see that unlike other cultivators, you were actually able to help me kill Xiang Lingjun. What surprised me was that the moment came so quickly. Yeah, she's basically his lover, I guess. Which is that other chick's father, which makes her her mother. Duanmu looked at the corpse on the ground again with tenderness in her eyes. His name is Duan Mu Shang Han, and his name was given by me. Wait, okay, no, maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. Her eyes became softer and she fell into memories of the past, and she didn't seem to be worried that you would do something behind her back. Back then, when I was captured by Shang Ling Jun, I was imprisoned here for a long time. I was often beaten and used for experiments. At one point, I was about to become a beast that lost my mind, and it was Shang Han who helped me suppress my inner anger. At that time, I couldn't see a glimmer of hope. It was only the light he brought me that accompanied me through the darkest times. He is the only person who wouldn't be afraid after seeing my monster side. On the contrary, what I saw in his eyes was full of sadness. He then exhausted everything to help me escape, and even gave me the heavenly eye array so that I would never again be in danger of being discovered. In order to steal the heavenly eye array, he was captured again by Xiang Ling Jun, and after I escaped, because I was a descendant of the Nine Infants, I quickly became the leader of the monsters, so I frequently launched beast tides and tried to rescue him, but was unable to break through the city wall. I didn't set this plan until you appeared and finally killed him. But I was still late, and Shang Han has still left me. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, why is his corpse still here then? His physique has been transformed, so even if he died, his physical body won't ever be corrupted. Jesus. Recalling that it was time for everything to come to an end, the gentleness in her eyes dissipated and she once again became the leader of the monster beasts. EVG, I know you're here to go to Tianyuan Mountain. If you defeat me in this battle, I'll let you go there and I won't let the monsters along the way disturb you. Well, shit. Fight after fight. If I defeat you, please leave Chiyo Prefecture and don't care about my monsters in the Immortal Alliance. Immortal Alliance is fighting. Does it really have to be that way? Like, it just... Let me through. I fail to see how it affects you in any way if you just turn away. The glutton who was killed by you is my friend after all. This battle is unavoidable. Oh, come on. I didn't know. It was just... That was the first fight beyond the wall. You can't blame me for that. <sighs> I guess I've got no excuses. Be careful, I'll do my best in this battle. <sighs> well, I liked you, but it is what it is. 293,000? <whistles> Alright. Oh yeah, she, oh my. Oh, yep, Hydra. I was right. I was right. Oh, my God. You aren't strong enough. I heal too much, bro. Okay, top ones are immune till the side ones are dead. That's fair. You, ca you can't stop me. You just can't. <laughs> Look at this, man. My health bar just isn't moving. 
Oh, did I come back alive? Oh, damn, that's annoying as hell. 1.64 million, not too bad. This would be a nightmare on Chaos. Oh my god. You, yeah, no, nah, that's fucked on Chaos. Holy shit, that hurts. Oh no, no. Oh boy, yeah, that's an insta kill. 100%. I win. Guamu finally loses to you and slowly turns back into a human body slowly sagging down beside Sheng Han's corpse. There was no disappointment on her face, but there seemed to have been relaxation and a feeling of being relieved. Your talent is really strong, and among human cultivators I have ever met, you are clear number one. Fuck yeah, I am. All of this I was too tired to bear anyway, and today I can finally get rid of it. BBG, you can do it. This Duan Mu is actually a pitiful person. You aren't able to bring yourself to do it for a while, but she is the nine-headed hydra after all. If you don't kill her, it might be a big problem. And just when you hesitate, Gu Yuan Air appeared. BBG, how are you? Are you injured? What about Zhou Ying? I defeated it. Well, I am questioning killing it, I'm not gonna lie. You, you actually defeated it? Hurry up and kill it now to avenge the dead disciples of the Immortal Alliance. You then tell everything about the situation to Gu Yuan Er. Gu Yuan Er, who originally wanted to kill her, was moved to tears after listening to the story. In the silence, she suddenly thought of something and whispered it in your ear. Is this really possible? This is my father's guess from back then. You might as well give it a try. If it works, that's for the best. If it doesn't work, then you could just kill her and you and I have nothing to be ashamed of. Alright, well, I'll give it a try. You go to Duan Mu's head and according to what Yuan Er said, you push Chi into her and a curse was slowly falling into her mind. What do you mean? And Duan Mu collapsed to the ground, extremely weak. It's a success. It seems that my dad's forbidden spell also works on transforming monsters. So her life and death are in your hands now. So I don't have to kill her anymore. Okay, yeah, I'm not really sure how she's going to fucking react to that. Duamu also slowly sat up from the ground, feeling the change in her body and showing a look of doubt. I... I, am. Um, you have a forbidden spell in your body. If you do something to hurt the human race, BBG can, can kill you with a single thought. Alright, well. You're also a pitiful person, so we'll let you go and give you a way to live. But if I find out that you do wrong again, I won't let you go. How fucking self-righteous I am right now. My god. Cringing. I'm satisfied to be by Sheng Han's side forever. Don't worry, from now on there will only be Duan Mu Cave and no Zhou Ying. <sighs> look, alright, look. Let me get another two major realms and I'll pull his soul out from the underworld and I'll chuck it back in him. How about that? The cost is you have to be my mount. Because I want to fucking Hydra, that'd be sick. After speaking... She looked at Shang Hang, who was lying beside her, and slowly picked up his hand and put it on her own. Her face was full of tenderness. BBG, let's go. This place is very secretive. We can let her live here. All right, let's go. That was fucking wild. Sad, as well. As you leave the cave, Duan Mu, who is behind you, is still kneeling and sitting there next to Shang Han, lying beside his corpse like a statue. By the way, these are a few pieces of paper I found in that cave. I don't know if they're useful, but you can take a look. Hmm. A clue? Now let's go back. My aunt must be worried. Holy fuck, man. I didn't think they'd actually fleshed out this story this much. Like, like this is the most story. It's crazy. Okay, aunt, we're back. Aunt, we're back. Which was literally what I just said, but it's fine. I'm glad to come back safely. What about the Zhou Ying? The Zhou Ying was defeated by BBG and now has a forbidden spell placed on her and can no longer harm anyone. That's good. Without the Zhou Ying, the monsters have lost their leaders. And with it, the threat to the Cultivator Alliance has fallen. This is so good. I've avenged my father and solved the problem with the Zhou Ying. All of this is the credit of BBG. 
Leave you to eight hours. This return as clouded move is the reward from your great deeds. <sighs> I'd honestly have preferred it if you just hadn't given me that. Because... Then again, for every 453 max vitality points, your attack increases by one. That's actually quite a lot, considering when that's red, that'll probably be 200 max vitality points. Attack will increase by one. Mm -hmm. If only that was transcendent, that would actually be fucking amazing. Take it quickly, don't refuse. Yeah, thank you, I guess. After you saw Luol Yin giving you the reward, your brows were still furrowed, as if there was something else to worry about. Oh, it was her brows that were furrowed. Seeing the senior's brows furrowed, what troubles are there? After Xiang Lingjun was killed by the Zhou Ying, the position of the leader of the alliance was left empty, and the huge immortal alliance can't be without a leader. A few days ago, our elders began to discuss the succession of the alliance leader position. For a while, he couldn't, we couldn't find a successor who could convince the public. Lao Shen, one of the elders who has worked hard, isn't qualified to be leader of the alliance. There are many capable people in this alliance, and it's his responsibility to select the most suitable candidates. As long as it's not me, it's fine. No, I don't care. But we did come up with, with a method to determine the position of the alliance leader, though. And what was this method? In the past, my immortal alliance created a magic weapon called Exercise, uh, which was made to deal with Xing Qian. But after it was used by an elder to suppress a powerful monster, it also disappeared with the elder at that time. Therefore, we decided that whoever brought back the Exercise of first among the members of our immortal alliance would become the leader. Okay. Like, I don't really... I'll go kill Xing Qian, but I, again, I don't want to be the leader. Are you trying to say that this is something trivial to do? It's really not. We guess that this thing is probably suppressing that ancient monster. So if someone can bring it back, it means that person has the power to kill it. And that cultiv cultivation level is high enough to become our leader. Moreover, if you want to enter Tianyuan Mountain, you have to defeat Xing Chen. And if you get the exercise, your chances of defeating it will be much higher. Aight. Her words reminded you that since this thing can hurt Xing Chen, you have to take it in your hands no matter what. The person who comes back with it will have the position of leader. Leo, I remember you researching the location of the exerciser, no? That's right, Dad planned to find it back then, but unfortunately he was interrupted when he found it. But he still left a lot of clues about it, though. Are these clues useful? Of course, based on these clues, I flipped through a lot of books and estimated its approximate location. Ah, yes, very good. Near a mountain. One of the many mountains. After speaking, Gu Yuan Er took out a piece of paper, drew the topography of the Chiyo Prefecture on it, and marked it someplace. The place I marked is probably where the exerciser lies. Alright, well, I'll be back when I get it then, I guess. Then wait for me, I'll go with you. Nonsense, the monsters controlled by them are not much worse than Zhou Ying. With your strength, won't you just cause trouble for the fellow Taoists? Well, then, BBG, you have to be very careful. I'm here waiting for you to come back, lady. Just... <sighs> I'm married. She will kill you. I'm not joking. She will kill you. She terrifies me. I'll be back. And with that being said, that is another effort. It's amazing how quick time goes when I've got to, like, translate it and then say it. But damn, so we finally know who the Zhou Ying is. It's been clapped, and we're moving towards fucking up Xing Chan now. Excellent. That's what I call progress. No side missions, no nothing, just straight on with the main story, which is so much more chunky than I thought it was going to be at this point. I'm glad they put more effort into the storyline. I really am, because it was lacking previously, but it, I, I get what it was trying to do prior to these two realms, which was just, you know, open world, do what you want as a cultivator sort of thing. And it did achieve that. It's achieved that really good. But this is definitely giving it something more. So with that being said, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed my subpar translations of the story. <laughs> uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment. And of course, as always, have a great day.